I have tried to explain before to my audience that what we perceive to be right wing and left wing in North America is not the same thing as right wing and left wing in South America. However, I think I have failed to illustrate one aspect of that properly, and in today's video I'm going to try to clear that up. You see, down here, to be right wing means that you are not only pro business, but you're pro government. Government, business, the church, to these people, all represent one thing. That's one group that you either support or you don't support. Because down here, they all work together. You see, up here, we see government as one thing and business as another that are on opposite sides. Down here, those are all on the same side. It's called the right wing. Down here, the left wing is the people and private small interests and the working man. That's what's called the left wing down here. So when you hear the word socialism down here, they don't, they aren't talking about like Obamacare, like big government control of everything. That's not, that's, that's right wing down there. That's, I think, the big confusion. And there's an excellent article out today on Venezuela analysis that illustrates this idea. I think that's why so many people in this country, you know, they hear Chavez and they think, oh, this horrible big government socialist. It's not the two things are an oxymoron down there. Big government and socialist don't work together. They're two totally different things. And this is that article, which you can find in its uh, English language. And this is where they describe this, where there have been businesses, state-run, state-owned businesses, that the people of a region saw not working for those people. And so the people came and took the business from the government. Now, I know you'd think, well, wait a minute, wait, hold, hold on, I thought the government was social. No, the country is. The government is not the implementer of the system by which the country operates. This is the difference between there and here. Whereas when we call ourselves capitalists, or we call ourselves um, a republic or free market, there's a big, big difference between Walmart and Chevron and Apple and your local tire dealer in complete attitude toward how you run business. Big business tries to destroy other business. Small business tries to convince the people around them that they are the best choice of all the businesses. And that's what this article talks about. See here, it's like, with this in mind, she gave the example, speaking of the woman they're talking to in this article, that corporate media outlets play in the 2002 right-wing coup, coup attempt in Venezuela, which came a year after a new law allowed peasants to take over unused private land. This is what they would do. This is the reverse of what we're used to in this country, or what we've become used to in this country. The most powerful forms of government that exist in this region are at the local levels. Unlike here, where the most powerful form of government is at the highest level. So when they're talking about, when they say they want Bolivarian revolution or socialist revolution, they're not talking about big government, heavy-handed like Obamacare, implementing all this crap, that's not what they're talking about. Here's another a great example. Communal councils, for example, allow communities to solve basic problems themselves with financial support from the state, meaning the state, of course, collects taxes and then says, okay, here's ABC dollars, you figure it out. 
Now imagine, and I'm going to pull up this example, if you could do that here. If you had the ability to say, you know what, our local DMV, they are a bunch of brain-dead morons, and we are going to go in there now, and we're going to fire everybody, and we are going to figure out what the hell's going on, and we are going to streamline that process and make things work here better for the people of this area. You, of course, can't do that here in America, but you can do it down there. And people ask sometimes, well, if Venezuela would have just not expropriated this or just done this, that, or the other, all these problems wouldn't have happened. If you want to see a great example of what happens when you follow the directions of the globalists and the IMF, this is what you get. Now, Americans would read this and think, wow, that's great. If you're an Argentinian, this sucks. Because their economy is in slow meltdown itself, but for an entirely different reason. The only fix for this now in Argentina is for them to dollarize their economy, which means they're going to have to eventually peg everything to the U.S. dollar and use the U.S. dollar, which will basically make them just a satellite puppet of the government in Washington, D.C., which is what the Venezuelans did not want. And if you think Venezuela is a completely failed state, explain this. There are businesses that are coming now back into Venezuela and inking deals with their government to exploit the oil resources. But these deals are very specific about who's going to benefit from what, where the money's going to go, and how it's going to be used. With PDVSA, the state-run oil company, having been completely um, evicted, maybe not the company itself, but the people inside it, from the country, the corrupt ones that were robbing and stealing, they're going to have to stand back up new people. And that's going to take some time. So you're going to hear all this story out of the mainstream media about how, oh, it's a, a basket case and it's not working. It's going to take some time. You're absolutely right. Because when those people left, you know, they took their ball and went home. But there's a shift happening in the world. And it doesn't bode well for this uh, hegemony that's been going on in this country, or country, this, I guess, on the planet for a long time. And it's uh, about to uh, break loose. This is a big deal. The Petro yuan as opposed to the petro dollar is now working and it's going to change everything absolutely everything there's all sorts of articles about how oh uh, gas is going to go down or uh, the price of oil might gas won't because there's no upside for them to do that. There's no upside anymore for U.S. oil companies to charge less for gasoline in the United States. Zero upside. So they won't. Which goes back to, since we have a holiday coming up, what we talked about yesterday. Can you imagine, can you imagine if, at this time, they had decided to build this highway system with only profit in mind. How can we do this but figure out a way to do it and make it a profitable uh, pro-big business enterprise? You would have seen all sorts of stuff go into the lowest bidder, and every single one of these would be toll roads, and the maintenance would be terrible. Much worse than it is now, if you can imagine. And when you go to travel for the holidays, it's it would be a nightmare. It would be an absolute nightmare financially. Things would change. Prices would go up. It'd be more expensive next year than it is this year. Because someone, of course, with the ultimate goal here being that someone make a whole bunch of money. 
And if that's always the goal, all you have to do is look back at the turn of the century in this country with the railroads, who were run by private businesses for a long time. That Henry Flagler, which is the guy that pretty much built everything in Florida all the way from the Georgia line all the way down to the Keys as far as transportation goes. Everything down here is Flagler this, Flagler that, Flagler the other. Flagler Beach. He's an interesting read. He really is. And as far as the TVA goes, there was a plan to make that community resource, that river, something that uh, enriched private business. So this is the difference that I wanted to illustrate in today's video. That when you hear down here them talk about Bolivarian revolution or socialism, they're not talking about big government. They're talking about the people versus big, big government, big business, big church, all the same thing down here. No difference. That's what they call the right wing. See, here in our country, the right wing is the business versus the big government. There's no difference down here. So we will leave it there. Um, I hope everyone's having a great week, and we will talk to you soon. Like, share, subscribe.